This is the first of a four video sequence um, going along with the technology instruction entering and saving data in R. In this first video we will make a very brief introduction to R and we'll introduce R Fiddle which will be used as our classroom calculator. Open R Fiddle in your um, computer's browser, internet browser, by going to r-fiddle.org. Once opened, our fiddle looks much like this. It probably has a tutorial when you first open it. It might be a good idea just to run through that tutorial and see the parts of our fiddle. Uh, our fiddle starts with something up here in the console. This is the console area, which is essentially a text editor. We can store our commands there, and then we can copy and save those commands somewhere so that we can come back and recreate what we've done. The R program itself actually is operating down here. This is what's called a a integrated uh, development environment where, where two pieces of software are operating together. The nice thing about it is that when you produce the code up here that you would like to run in R, you can just press the run code. But you can also just come down here and, and practice in R, do things in R. R is a powerful command line com uh, computing language. If we looked at uh, some simple thing like, shoot, <laughs> 3 plus 7, uh, then R can do that calculation and it can do any other calculation that your calculator can do essentially. Your workflow in R Fiddle will usually be to, to practice and get something that's working down here in R and then copy that command up above. The first R function that I'd like you to learn is called the um, I don't know what it's called. It's called the C function. So down here in R, I'll just give it a demonstration. Suppose that we wanted that we had some data that we had collected and that we want to have that saved as a as an object. Three comma four mi minus two seven and six. Say a very short little data set. If I enter that in R and press enter, then it shows me that it's producing this thing which is actually a vector is what it's called in R. Uh, it, at this point it just gives the output of the vector. That vector has not been saved anywhere. What we'd really like to do is create an object. We'll call it X. Oh, Let me show you a nice feature of R. You can press the up arrow key and scroll through all the commands that you've previously given in R. I'm really interested in that command and I want to assign that vector to, uh, to x. So I want to have x is equal to that combine that data set into a vector. So now at that point when I pressed enter, nothing showed up in R. What R did was build that vector and then stored it in this object x we can look and see what all of the objects are that we have at any particular time by using the ls command. ls, uh, these are all functions, so there's the function argument, it's just going to be empty. ls with an empty argument, and it shows me all the objects that I currently have, which is just this object x. If I tell r to show me what x is, by typing X and return, then of course it shows me that particular vector. Now we're interested in having that vector saved up here in our console because I want to save this session uh, for, for future use and reference. Well, to start out with, I'm going to uh, remove the code that they had there and start my own new code. It's easy to come down in R and copy what we want to save here, copy, and paste it up here. Now, the nice thing about that is once we, we put this command or maybe even a collection of commands up here, we can then run the code, run that code just by, by typing this, uh, this run code. So if I press run code, then it 
takes this, this uh, vector and saves it into x. Now, nothing showed up down here, remember, because, uh, be, because r, r is taking that vector and storing it in that place so there wasn't any output. Let's add a couple more commands in the console so that you can see some other things that are happening. So in the console, I'm going to uh, say then show me what x is and also show me what 3 plus 7 is. Now at that point, if I come to the run code, then it's going to do three things. It's going to build this vector, store it in x, then it's going to show me what x is, then it's going to show me what 3 plus 7 is. So there we are. It built the vector, it showed me the vector, and then it showed me what 3 plus 7 is. All of this will become second nature as you do some experimenting in R down here and then saving commands up here. Uh, we'll talk about how to save this script in the fourth video.